All right, so we are doing our monthly gotcha revenue video, and um, this one is really interesting. A lot of things, not even just related to Black Clover, that we're gonna talk about. I mean, I've been playing a good amount of gotchas recently, actually. I mean, I've been getting heavily into Dokkan, but obviously, we're still gonna talk heavily about uh, BCM. But I think the most crazy thing is this insane jump insane jump from 5 million to 72 million for afkj um what that's literally 14 times 14 times what they made last month a literal 400 1400 percent increase over 1400 percent, which is insane um and i was so confused by this and i'm guessing a lot of you guys were too if you checked it out but vulcan explained that basically uh afkj fixed a bunch of issues with their game and then they had their asia launch on august 6th uh, Asia launch was mega successful with two big characters back to back and you know I real I saw that and I'm like yo hold on I need to try the game out again because I had a pretty built up account right I at first I was like competing with pretty high levels I mean I was playing up till the new season the first new season so for a good two months two months and a half and then you know I kind of just stopped but this kind of is going to make me get back into the game I logged in I had like 200 plus or 200 plus summons it was pretty crazy and then they had this fire uh design which i gotta say was insane and also her which i was like one away from pity to be able to pretty much guarantee um so really cool stuff but yeah i mean honestly this this is just a fun little side gotcha for me to play and i i mean i was doing that before and you know i might be doing that again right so there's that and the funniest thing is that love and deep space their um uh what would you even call it like their husbando gotcha game beat literally not len and then star rail which was very funny i i love to see that so much like just seeing genshin get out beat by a husbando gacha game is it makes my day it really does it really does but that zenless drop is insane obviously launch i mean we saw with bcm too and it makes sense but you know at least they're not going from like 15 million to 5 million so big 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 difference they're still making money and like deep space making that much is insane um but i'm i'm just very happy seeing afkj on the top for some reason it just like makes me happy because it feels like a genuinely good gacha like some of the best you could get out there so you know to me it's nice now dokkan still making 24 is actually insane right actually insane because it was literally annie before um is this okay so jp made 3.6 and then global yeah okay no never mind global made almost the same amount yeah that's insane that is actually insane holy wow okay wow 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 okay that is crazy now solo still made a good amount but considering uh gogan he came out i thought he would make more um than 10 mil i was sure it was gonna be more than this but obviously still really good numbers they're putting up all these gotchas on the top even weathering still doing good their design for one of the 1.4 units that i saw leaked looked amazing right so those are like the main games that i play right or like that i like kind of keep up with um i saw dbl got was it garlic jr i swear they got a garlic jr i swear i'm not tripping but I, I didn't really check that out. And then we slowly go down. Fanpar is getting a global. Honestly, let me know if you want me to cover. Because I would actually love to cover it. Low key. I didn't really play JP because I hate VPNs. Thank God BCM was just like a semi-VPN that we needed. But, you know, if uh, Fanpar is good. And like I like it when I try it out on JP. I might play global and I might cover it on the channel. So you guys let me know. And Cookie Run Kingdom. Man. I, I've been playing it too much. I've actually been playing it too much. Creme Brulee came out. I, I got it maxed out so quick. Um, but, you know, W for them to still be out. I mean, it's not making bad money, especially for how easy it's probably to, like, maintain the game, right? And BBS. Yeah, I swear I've never seen BBS numbers before. I Like, okay, they must have started recently. Am I tripping? Like, they actually started recently. That makes sense. Um, I mean, this is not bad for probably the relatively low cost it is to maintain that game. So I guess there is that. And then, uh, you know, we just slowly get down and we slowly get down and we slowly get down until we see Black Clover Mobile. So now, I mean, let me just see if there's anything else before we actually talk about BCM. Um, bro, a game making 10K is crazy. Oh my God. That's going to be BCM soon. Now, actually though, like, okay. So this is JP, right? JP is staying at 50K, you know, for... For them actually releasing new units, it's kind of unfortunate. And what you got to consider, they probably made less because of all the refunds, right? Because they refunded everyone on iOS and the Play Store, right? Um, I got my refunds and I did not spend as much. Hell no, I just bought the Battle Pass and that's it. So you got to keep that in mind. Now, Global went from, you can't even see it, bro. You can't even see it. 
Oh my god. It went from 700k to 500k, but the downloads increased. So low-key downloads increasing is probably better over time, but why the downloads increased is because they actually made changes with the gateway of uh, Reunion, where um, you could get old, um, what's it called, the old units. So hmm, actually, like this to me does make sense, but the lower money also does make sense, right? I mean, okay, let me pull up the Discord, uh, the, the banners. Okay, so um, we start off with the first banner basically being Secret Agent, right? But they were they were the 30th of July, and if we check the 30th of july was like two days before august so like some of the money trickled in but not much okay but then we had finroll just an absolutely horrible release so technically you got to skip this banner because most people just got vanessa and skipped right you got to skip this banner because finroll just was not good and he might not even be that good on any team it seems like he might be okay with mono blue with raya but we're not even sure yet and then black divider but the thing is you got to save for black divider right if you were really like being smart, you got to save. You had a skip banner in Nozel Cojono, skip banner in Gray, skip banner in this, skip banner in Fineral, and then it was Black Divider. So a lot of people just didn't really need to spend as much unless you were like me showcasing every single unit, right? So it was a relatively easy like two months for people, I find personally. You guys let me know. But I really do find it was an easy two months, right? It really was. I told people just get Vanessa and skip, right? Um, So, you know, I feel like people should have had a lot, and if they didn't, well, they still had mage dupes, right? So that's the main thing. That is the main thing with uh, Black Divider coming out. Um, it's really that uh, it was just, there's no way he was really going to make money. But I'm not even at the point where it's like, oh, we'll wait till next month and then it'll give us a good idea. It's just at this point, it's like, I, I just don't, I think there was too many uh, fuck-ups, right? I really do. Like, I don't know. Like, for me, I'm just not in a great state of mind with uh, Black Clover, right? Because Global made a horrible thing, which I'm going to talk about in a future video. It's just I haven't gotten around to it because too many things, right? Actually, too many things. Um, but JP made a fuck up, obviously. We already talked about that in a video. And then the key of reunion announcement where uh, it was i added general, but it was not actually, which was a horrible um, decision. And then also no reruns. They didn't add the rerun for the fest in this update, but the way they made everything seem was it was going to be in this update, right? And why the key of reunion thing doesn't make sense is because monthlies, they have the general. They actually have the general. So what's up with that, right? They have every single unit, but then they don't in the actual thing. So to me, it really does make absolutely zero sense, right? It really does. So, you know, <clears throat> it, it really is what it is, I guess. I mean, that is, that's it. I mean, like another thing also is that they're really bad with their packs. The packs have just gotten worse and worse. So like we're going to keep on finding reasons, right? But the packs have gotten worse and worse. These packs are okay, but they could definitely be better in terms of Yule. Uh, new user packs doesn't count. Growth packs actually were really good. But then it's more so the summon packs. Black Dividers, they didn't add any paid crystal packs, but there's going to be a paid crystal pa a banner for Black Divider, for Raya, and then for Julius. Guys, they need to give more paid crystals if it's going to be like that, because who is buying a raw 135 if we're being real for four multis, not even? Or actually, yeah, basically four paid multis. It's just so bad in my opinion, right? So they need to bring back some paid crystal packs, because I feel like those are actually the best packs that they ever release. And overall, like people are just able to save because, you know, just the releases were really bad in terms of how they did it. Mainly Nozel Cojono was just kind of yikes. Um, and then obviously Zora, like people have the foresight. So now, I mean, why I don't even think it could really get better. First of all, Raya, I mean, we know Raya's coming, right? But Raya and Julius, the thing is, Julius, if he had a normal banner, probably would make him a lot of money. But no one's going to summon on Julius also when they release it with Raya and then make Julius a really hard banner to summon on because it's eight steps to get the guaranteed and it's all paid, paid crystals, which means it's 9,600 paid crystals to get one copy unless you get lucky. But you could get very unlucky, right? That's the main thing. And then Raya's coming, but he also needs to be maxed. But I feel like people will like Raya, but it's just more of a niche unit. And then Charlotte Yami is pretty much unrunnable unless you're in like the top 0.5% of players that has 2% uh, 2 attack percent uh, gear sets and then even at that they both need to be max duped right because actually well yeah yeah no I would say max duped is actually pretty important for them from what I was seeing um over time it's going to be even more important when Dorothy comes out for this debuff immunity um 
So it's like they need to, especially for Charlotte, because she gets a lot of speed, right? Well, does is it on her dupes? I don't think it's on her dupes. Never mind. But also, her the skill pages are very important. So it's like these units have so much investment for so little return. And I just, I, I don't know, like, they do these decisions, they make the packs worse, they make it harder to summon on these banners, the paid banner sucks for Julius, right, they have a bunch of bad releases, and then it's like, I don't really know, but we don't know when these units are coming out on global, the next month of releases on global are very good, but then the main problem arises, it's the game modes, right, the game modes, the game modes is it, and there are game modes coming for global, but... I mean, at this point, is it enough, right? Is it enough? Is it enough, right? So many things have gone wrong for them, right? And I'm just wondering what is going to be enough, right? What is going to be enough? Like, I mean, we, we got to imagine they have a plan, but I mean, I'm just starting to lose faith. I really am. I really am. You guys let me know if I'm actually just tripping. Like, what, what are your thoughts on this? Give me your thoughts on this. But overall, it's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not seeing the vision anymore. I mean, we don't know when Raid is coming, when the new Raid is coming, right? So it's like a bunch of these things... Just don't leave me very high hopes, but we'll have to see what their plan is. Just kind of wanted to update you. Um, they, they made even less than last month with Black Divider, so keep that in mind. Um, that's basically it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.